Three Minute Mastery for Module 2. Uh, we're going to talk about how to express efficiency, what that means. First thing we need to recognize is that we are not talking about quarterback efficiency. This is not a, an issue of passer rating. We're talking about heat engines. And so remember that a heat engine uses a heat difference to do work. Presumably energy goes into this system somehow and we may recall that the energy into a system uh, might have happened hundreds of millions of years ago as in the case of these chemical bonds we discussed earlier, right? So we can say that efficiency is a ratio of the work we get out of a system compared to the energy into a system. That's not too bad. That's a pretty good way to look at things. Uh, that's a useful way for us to think about heat engines and whether or not uh, they're efficient. Uh, if we want to increase the efficiency of a heat engine, well then we either get more work out while putting in the same amount of energy, or we get the same amount of work out while putting in less energy. This is how we increase the efficiency, right? So we go back to this conversation, what's the difference between uh, heat and temperature? Well, if I have some container, right? here's my mug of cocoa, this has some heat value and I can record some temperature value. But this mug doesn't have temperature all by itself. Temperature is a man-made construct, sort of like currency. Uh, it has heat. Heat is inherent to this, and I can measure that heat on some temperature scale. So the difference is that heat is inherent temperature is measured. It's some artificial thing that we've created. Uh, and in fact, we can talk about a pretty popular temperature scale called Kelvin. Uh, and we'll talk more about Kelvin in a, in a little bit, but we also have Fahrenheit and we have Celsius. Notice that Kelvin doesn't have this little degree symbol next to it, Fahrenheit and Celsius do. So keep that in mind. So let's go back to that efficiency equation that we had a little bit ago. We said that the efficiency is a ratio of the work out compared to the energy in, right? Well, now we can take that a little bit further. If we have uh, two containers that are at different heat values, then energy will flow from one container to the other. I think that we've already determined that there is some energy flow. So the work out of our system is merely the difference between uh, the energy that's available in what you might call the hot side and the energy that's available to be absorbed in what you might think of as the cool side. Right? So there's this energy flow, that energy flow divided by the energy that was available, the energy that had previously been put in maybe by us, maybe hundreds of millions of years ago. Interesting to note that this term, Q sub H, exists in both the numerator and the denominator. So this is probably the best way to increase efficiency. So for your notes, what I would like you to do is find a conversion table uh, for Kelvin, Fahrenheit, 
and Celsius, I think that we'll probably run into these kinds of issues. Uh, and we're going to talk more about Kelvin in future 3MMs.